I want to also speak directly into the future of Crown Church and what we are called to. See, all of what God has blessed us with in terms of diversity and what we faithfully developed is good, but I believe there's more. And I call this diversity 2.0 because the diversity today needs to go deeper, needs to go up to another level. Diversity that, yes, celebrates and honours one another, but shows concern and love in action for one another. A diversity that is willing to share in the beauty of diversity when we come together from different nations, different colours, different ages, different cultural groups, but also a diversity that speaks out and stands up to the trauma, what we know is the trauma and the pain that comes with racial inequality, discrimination and social injustice. I believe we're called to a diversity that holds a recognition that God has made us different and rejoices in the beauty of the difference and uniqueness. First, or Colossians 1, 16 to 17, reminds us, for him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. I believe God is calling us to a diversity that is willing to connect intellectually and emotionally with the pain of racial inequality and social injustice. And like we see in the Good Samaritan story, we respond by taking action. I believe we're called to an authentic diversity which holds a deep appreciation and value, values difference, regardless of the message that comes from popular politicians or governments or any organisation. No, we value, we choose to value diversity. We choose to value difference and not try to diminish it. Put simply, brothers and sisters, we do moments of celebrating our richness and diversity together. We even reach out and help in terms of social welfare, those in need. Going forward, let's together go further and do moments of standing for justice and lifting up the marginalised, both inside and outside of the church. And we can do this together. I'm confident that this is our calling, Crown Church. And what by the grace of God, not by human effort, but by the grace of God, we will step into. See, we need to be biblically persuaded that this form of this idea of diversity or this um, picture of diversity that I've just given is what God has called us to. You see, I believe sincerely we seek justice and social justice because Christ is our justice and calls us to do justice. We know Micah 6, 8 says, He has shown you, O man, what is good, what the Lord requires of you, to act justly, love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Isaiah 1, verse 17 reminds us, Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, and plead the widow's cause. We also seek freedom because Christ has set us free. Hallelujah.